Any rapid transit system between Dallas and Fort Worth in the near future would have to be only a limited system. This comes from a report to the Turnpike Authority trustees today by engineer manager Jack Davis. He summarized it this way. Under the Turnpike Act of 1953, it is not legal for the authority to spend its money making a feasibility study on any type of rail rapid transit. We do have the right and should investigate the possibility of uh, expanding the turnpike, turnpike facility to include uh, bus rapid transit. Uh, moreover, I think the authority at this point should uh, look into the feasibility of yet another route for a toll facility, a toll highway, between the two cities. I, in my judgment, it, is, it will be needed uh, within the next 10 years. Davis suggested that the authority might construct terminals for the bus system that would include parking for commuters' cars and perhaps construct separate turnpike lanes for the buses to use. Authority Chairman Clyde Ashworth said the ideas should be pursued beginning with seeking permissive legislation. We should uh, continue to explore uh, means to accomplish the, the purpose of the Turnpike Authority, that is to provide uh, transportation facilities for the public. And, and in particular, excuse me, uh, to go ahead and uh, solicit or attempt to obtain the enabling legislation that we'll need in order to accomplish this purpose. Do you anticipate seeking legislation to allow you to go into perhaps rail transportation besides the bus thing that you might do now? I would not uh, frankly anticipate uh, seeking that particular legislation at this time. I would uh, think that it might be needed at some time in the future, but I think it would be a little bit premature at this particular time. On another matter, Dallas officials outlined plans to the Turnpike Authority which will reduce the traffic problems around the complex Stimmons Interchange southwest of downtown Dallas. The city will build turnpike ramps at Beckley and Sylvan Streets to serve a new post office to be built there and to allow an easier route for about 8,000 Oak Cliff area cars. In addition, the state plans to add a new southbound and a new northbound lane to Stimmons in the bottleneck area. All these things take time. There will be no action next week or even next month. But it's this kind of thinking, planning, working, and overcoming obstacles that will help the Dallas-Fort Worth area progress and perhaps avoid the critical problems we hear so much about from some of the metropolitan complexes. This is Roger McDonald, Channel 8 News. that we give the elected officials a 5% cost of living increase and that we give the county employees as many as, uh, unless there's areas where they're grossly overpaid, a 10% increase. Uh, that we do accept the proposal that TCU made on classification uh, in the Sheriff's Department and in the District Attorney's Office. Uh, there's no way to estimate this uh, in, uh, with uh, any degree of accuracy until uh, Mr. Williams works out all these proposals we give him, and then he comes back and shows us what we're talking about. I would just uh, generalize and say that uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of $600,000.
Dallas happens to be one of those particular unique situations where a city has started to intelligently look at its central city transportation problem and is much further along the way and uh, describing its problems and looking at what some of the potential alternatives are. Now, if we have a viable rapid transfer system, doesn't this mean that all the expressway money is spent uh, almost for nothing? No, that's uh, not uh, 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 true. Uh, highway development and automobile transportation will remain the m substantial and major part method of moving people and goods in and, ar in and around urban areas.